Good morning to you and welcome to Friday. This morning so far we spent 20 minutes watching a heron try and eat a big fish. That heron has caught a whopper of a fish. There it goes. Can you see him? That looks like a perch. You can see the stripes on its back. Yeah. Where's he off to with it? Pretty down now. See what he's going to do with that. Yeah, I think it's a bit big. He's going to get a drink. Yeah. Looks like he's limbering up for it. No, he's giving up. He is like walking away. Where is it? I oh, was floating in the water there. Yeah. After all that effort to catch the thing. Oh no. It's like walking off in disgust now. He gave up and just left it for dead. <laughs> he did. Just walked away. Mr. Warner has always 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 wanted a piece of land to build himself a workshop on we always keep our eyes open for random plots of land that come available that could have potential to build a workshop on i just so happen to have come across a piece of land that would be perfect it's up for auction next month we spoke to the estate agent this morning already and they have said there's a lot of interest in it so i've got a feeling it might go for a lot of money but well gotta be in it to win it, gotta be in it, to win it. so today we are gonna go and have a look at this piece of land just see how the land lies literally mr warner also wants to do the wiring for the fridge today but before he can do that he needs to go to b and q and buy some bits can i also say mr warner is sporting new facial hair look at that we're just trying it i wanted to do it for a long time handsome i thought we'd go for the goatee look i like it come on then mr warner let's yeah, go well. What did you get? So I bought these because we always use them in the boat. These are like chocolate box connectors and they were a fiver for all that many. That's a box that's going near the bed so I can connect your connector up and spur off the fridge. And then both of have got this to go above so I can turn it off and off. This is, this is the land here. Do you want to pull down there where it's the dead end and we'll walk up? Because there's the footpath. Okay, let's, let's oh. just go up. Uh, 
from that fence to that whole field. So what do you think, Miss Warner? I like it. Oh, rainy day. Rainy, cold day, but it should be nice and warm in the boat. Oh, it's lovely and warm in here. The weather outside is frightful. I'm gonna have another go at the no need bread. I'm gonna use a different flour and a slightly different version of the recipe. I'm also, because I like multitasking, gonna make some soup. Right, kettle on for a cup of tea and a bit of my mum's fruit cake. A couple of things different with this bread recipe. This is still a no need version, but this is the quicker two and a half hour version. Instead of using the strong bread flour that I used last time, I'm just going to use some run-of-the-mill whole meal. Righty, in here, three and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. I've used the whole meal one. Two teaspoons of fine sea salt. I didn't measure it out, but it's about two teaspoons. Uh, one teaspoon of granulated sugar and a seven gram packet of active dry yeast and to that i am gonna put in one and a third cups of warm water stir together until combined right that took less than a minute let the dough rest at room temperature for one hour it should double in size well let's see what happens i'm gonna stick it near the fire what are you doing mr warner so this is where i've put the fridge wire for the fridge and this is the connect this is the wire that's not being used at the moment which is um, 12 volt sockets so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this junction box in uh, connect your your little USB so you can keep that and then I'm going to connect the fridge wires to it and put that under here so it's up out of the way so I'll come back in a bit see how come you're getting on bit, yeah. right I'm going to make butternut squash soup with a red Thai vibe with some coconut cream and onion and some vegetable stock like that is that is all I'm going to use this isn't strictly a recipe it's more of a coming together of ingredients let's see how it turns out righty everything chopped well when I say everything onion and butternut squash anyway that's going to go in the pan just fry that for a couple of minutes I'm going to throw in a couple of teaspoons of the red curry paste. Just waiting for the kettle to boil so I can make some stock. Then I'll throw that in there. While I'm waiting, let's go see what Mr Warner's up to. How's it going, Glenn? Well, you can't see anything, I've hidden it all. They're tucked up under here now, and all the way under the gunnel now. It's, it's out of the way so it doesn't, doesn't, you can't see it. Also, let's go check on the dough. Oh, that is bigger. That is definitely bigger than it was. That's looking promising. I'll leave that to boil for sort of 15 20 minutes then we'll come back right that is looking promising i'm just going to stir in some coconut cream into the soup i've just put the bread in the oven so 20 minutes then take the lid off for another 10. lisa yes you haven't got a bun in the oven have you <laughs> Not a bun, Mr. Warner. Mm. Bread is out the oven and it is looking better than the last loaf. We'll have to see what it tastes like. That looks a little bit better than it did last time. A very pleasant evening watching movies. So I'm off to bed now and I will see you in the morning.